So the first of today's really big races then is the Ryanair Chase. It's a two mile five furlong grade one and the top one is Aintis Abrabre for Darren Thompson. The unbeaten beach road for John Morgan. Cypress Hill for David Robertson. Forza Juve for Ryan Talasebi. Cassable knock for Craig Allen. Motown man David Hooley. Rampant Lion and Rhea Coronas for Alex Cherry. Sasta Nakam for Leon Van Rinsburg. Shining bright Craig Beckwith. Sponge Bandit Ryan Costello. The Clown. Joshua Sutherland, Cheeks Gold for Craig Allen, Honey Star, Craig Beckwith, Romney Saison for Ryan Costello, the Killer Queen, Joshua Sutherland, Under His Eye, Ryan Tamasebi, and Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg. So a big field of 18 then. And away they go. Looking their way towards the first of the fences in this relatively new race, the Ryan Air Chase, and Sasta Nakam, the Leon Van Rensburg Grays, the first one to show. The shining bright second and Motown Man third early on as they get to the first and they're all safely over the first with Inter Sabrabre just the back marker over on the rail but it's Sastanakam who doesn't look like he wants to hang about as he gets to the second and they all got safely over the second Sastanakam in front then from Cheeks God the stable companion of the leader Vintage Trader he's in close order right over on the far side on the rail as well as they get to the third and over that one they go good jump there by Cheeks Gold has seen that one join Sastanakam for a share of the lead. Under his eye might just about be third, but they're beginning to bunch up now and sort themselves out into a racing formation. Cheeks Gold pulling for its head wants to go a little bit quicker, but his jockey wants to keep it behind Sastanakam, I think. And Sastanakam is blazing the trail in front and leads by a good three lengths to Cheeks Gold in second. Honey Star has now moved through into third, then Vintage Trader and Sponge Bandit, then Rhea Coronas is after that one, and Cypress Hill as they get to the fourth, and Cheeks Gold made a mistake there, and sometimes when they're pulling for the head like that, you might as well just let them go, because restraining him, and then making a mistake would have taken a bit of a... Oh, oh and he's gone there, Motown Man's gone. So we're busy talking about... Cheeks Gold and we nearly missed Motown Man going. Also Vintage Trader made a mistake at that race as well. But Sasta Nakam is the leader by a couple of lengths then to Honey Star and Rhea Coronas. And Cassable not closest to us as they get to the sixth. And they're all safely over that one then with Shining Bright just about the back marker. We've only lost the one so far as they take the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And they pass the big screen and turn shortly left-handed for one more complete circuit of the track and the grey Sastanaka is the leader Honey Star is second and Casable Knock just about showing third ahead of Rhea Coronas in fourth Ainta Sabrabra has moved up into fifth and then Cheeks Gold is sixth and then Vintage Trader is seven and under his eye and Fools of Juve and the stable companions together are next then the Clown and Beach Road the Killer Queen is after that and then Cypress Hill and Romney says on Rampant Lion who I thought might be in the Gold Cup is after that one and Shining Bright is the back marker so they get down to number eight then and over that one they all go with Sastanaka the clear leader as it has been throughout Cassable knocked just about second from Rhea Coronas in third as they get to the water jump and over that one they all go and Killer Queen and Shining Bright just about the back too Cypress Hill is also near the back with there's probably only 12 or 15 lengths between a lot of them and Sasta Nakam takes off at that ditch in the lead which they all get over well good jump by Ron by Sponge Bandit in the centre of the field of seeing that one move a little bit closer as they get to this next plane one and over that one they go and it's still Sastanakam in front from Casable knock second Rhea Coronas is third and then on the inside Holy Star is fourth Sponge Bandit is creeping closer then Vintage Trader under his eye wide on the track then Aintis Sabrabre is closer over on the rail as well alongside Cheeks Gold as they get over that one that's number 12 we still only lost the one and Sastanakam is the leader but Sponge Bandit has moved through into second as they take that plane one over that one they go a couple of mistakes most notably there by rampant line and also by honey star but it's sasta nakam who is the leader but not by all that far now under his eye coming around the outside through the challenge cheeks gold is still there so is vintage trader and sponge bandit rear coronas on the inside as they get over the 14th just three more to take then there in the ryanair chase and sasta nakam he's trying to make every poster winning one under his eyes in second sponge bandit vintage trader then come the 
pray on and pray. Then Rhea Carolis and Holy Star, the Clown is trying to get on terms as well as they get over to third last. And over that one they go, and the Clown is now really beginning to make a move on the outside. But Sastanaka has still got the lead. Sastanaka repelling Raiders in the lead. Vintage Trader is stable, mate. Now comes through in a second. Sponge Bandit is third, under his eye fourth. Then the Clown cheeks gold, trying to run on. So too Cypress Hill. Rhea Corona's making a forward move from the back now. Looks a big danger, but it's still Sastanaka in front. Sastanaka, Vintage Trader, Sponge Bandit, almost three in a line as they come down on the second last. Over it they go, and Sastanaka the better jump. Lands in the lead. Vintage Trader, though, quicker on the flat now. Pokes his head in front. Sastanaka is overtaken for the first time at the final fence. They go, and Sponge Bandit landed in front from Vintage Trader. Sastanaka trying to fight back. Sponge Bandit and Vintage Trader is going to be a head bomber. It's Sponge Bandit and Vintage Trader. Put Sponge Bandit. Bandit take it. This could be a major upset. Sponge Bandit in the lead from Vintage Trader. Rampant line trying to run on. It's Sponge Bandit, but Vintage Trader is getting up to take it. Vintage Trader is the winner. Sponge Bandit second. Rampant line third. Beach Road never got a mention, and um, but finished fourth. And it looked like we were going to get a major upset there. Uh, Sponge Bandit looked like he was going to take it at a massive 100 to 1, but Vintage Trader, it's another one for. Leon Van Rensburg back to the top of the tree and Sastanaka held on for fourth. So, vintage trader, the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Ryan Costello very nearly getting a grade one at Cheltenham Festival. Sponge Bandit second. Rampant line for Alex Cherry was third. Sastanaka for the winning trader was fourth. And Beach Road for John Morgan ran on to be fifth.